present an instructional video on the toxicity of isoniazid. In this video, we will talk about the background including chemistry of poisoning, incidence, toxicokinetics, recognition of its clinical features, and management. Isoniazid, a hydrazine derivative of isonicotinic acid, is the bactericidal drug of choice for tuberculosis. Also known as IMH and isonicotinic hydrazide. The structural related, related to nicotinic acid, also known as niacin and vitamin B3, uh, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, and pyridoxine, which also known as vitamin B6. Pyridine ring is important for its anti-tuberculous activity. So, INH is well known for its propensity to cause hepatitis with chronic use. Acute INH overdose is common cause of drug-induced seizures and metabolic acidosis. INH overdoses have been reported in American Indian population where tuberculosis is common and suicide is prevalent. Acute ingestion by adults, 1.5 grams mild toxicity, 6 to 10 grams may be fatal and 15 grams fatal if untreated. Overall, mortality rate of more acute INH toxicity has been estimated to be 19%. Estimates hepatotoxicity to occur in 9.2 of 1,000 patients taking INH for tuberculosis therapy with a case fatality rate of 4.7%. appear more prone to INH-induced hepatitis and neuropathy with long-term use. Many epidemics of acute INH toxicity have been reported in immigrants from Southeast Asia. Increased risk in females, susceptibility in INH-induced hepatitis, and subsequent death appears to increase with advancing age. Reduces acute toxicity effects by reducing brain pyridoxal 5 phosphate, which is the active form of the vitamin D6 and is essential cofactor for the enzyme glutamic acid dicarboxylase. This results in lower CNS levels of gamma am aminobutyric acid or GABA, an inhibitor neurotransmitter which leads to inhibited. Electrical activities manifested as seizures. INH may also inhibit the hepatic conversion of lactic acid to pyruvate, exacerbating the lactic acidosis from seizures. Chronic toxicity, peripheral neuropathy with chronic use is thought to be related to competition with pyridoxin. Toxic effects of INH are generally caused by two additive mechanisms. First, INH alters the metabolism of pyridoxine the coenzyme needed for transamination, transketolization, decarboxylation, and by transformation reactions. Second, it interferes with the synthesis and metabolism of GABA, the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. INH hydrazone metabolites inhibit pyridoxine phosphokinase, the enzyme that converts pyridoxine to its active form, which is known as pyridoxal 5 phosphate. In addition, INH reacts with pyridoxal phosphate to produce an inactive hydrazone complex that is renally excreted. Urinary excretion of pyridoxine and its metabolites increases with increasing INH dosage, reflecting the effect of INH on pyridoxine metabolism. The consequences of pyridoxine depletion include impaired activity of pyridoxine-dependent enzyme systems as well as decrease in catecholamine synthesis. Isoniazid interferes with the synthesis and metabolism of GABA aminobutyric acid, the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the CNS. Two pyridoxine dependent enzymes control the GABA metabolism glutamic acid decarboxylase and GABA aminotransferase. The former catalyzes GABA synthesis while the latter decreases the neurotransmitter. The inhibitory effects are greater on the GAD which leads to decreased GABA concentrations. Depletion of GABA is thought to be the etiology of INH-induced seizures. INH also impairs lactate conversion to pyruvate. Seizure-associated lactate generation is substantial, 
as well as the formation of lactic acid. Peak absorption occurs in 1 to 2 hours. The volume of distribution is 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 liters per kilogram. Elimination is by hepatic metabolism. The half-life is 0 0.5 to 1.6 in fast acetylators and 2 to 5 hours in slow acetylators. Acute ingestion, 50 to 40 mg per kilogram and severe toxicity is common after ingestion of 80 to 150 mg per kilogram. For chronic use, 10 to 20% of patients will develop hepatic toxicity when the dose is 10 mg per kilogram per day, but less than 2% will develop this toxicity if the dose is 3 to 5 mg per kilogram per day. Older people are more susceptible for chronic toxicity. The aim is in the initial management of acute toxicity harm, terminate seizure activity, fluid resuscitation, stabilization and correction of vital signs, and maintenance of fat and airway. The management to terminate seizure activity is to treat the patient with diazepam. The dose is 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kilogram IV to terminate INH-induced seizures. An effective alternative of pradioxin for the treatment of status of death because it's diazepam. It potentiates antidotal effects of pyridoxin. The management to treat seizure, acidosis, and coma is pyridoxine. It is prescribed as an antidote for INH toxicity. It rapidly terminates seizures, corrects metabolic acidosis, and reverses coma. One gram of pyridoxine IV for each gram of INH ingested is a dose for adult and pediatric patients. Pyridoxine is given at a rate of one gram every two to three minutes. Its available preparation is pyridoxine hydrochloride, 100 milligrams per ml bio for IV or IM administration. An alternative to the IV and IM preparation is to crush tablets and administer it with fluids via NGT. For the management of acidosis, sodium bicarbonate. For the management of acidosis, sodium bicarbonate is used. It is used to treat severe acidemia secondary to seizure activity with a pH of less than 7.0. It is proposed to be an adjunct therapy to pyridoxine. It is given 1 to 3 milli equivalents per kilogram IV of sodium bicarbonate with continuous monitoring of blood gases to adjust the bicarbonate administration. For GIB contamination, or activated charcoal is given with an initial dose in adults of 25 to 100 grams per kilogram oral or NG and 1 gram per kilogram per oral or NG in pediatric patients. Gastric lavage and or emesis may also be used. It is contraindicated unless the patient is incapable of taking orally administered drugs due to intubation, seizures, etc. Hemodialysis is used to enhance the elimination of INH in acute overdose. It is reserved for patients who develop INH-induced renal failure.